Okay, welcome back. Um, now we're going to be placing my head, as you see right here, not a very good picture, but it's okay, it's going to work, on Nicolas Cage's, Cage's body for the weatherman. First things first, I got to preserve my original. Time to duplicate my layer. Just right click, duplicate layer, see it right there. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, that's a good title for it. <clears throat> now what I need to do is select just my head. I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool. If you don't see it, not a problem. Just right click and you'll be able to select it. You see all the different marquee tools. We want the elliptical one. And just click and drag uh, you know, a circle around your head. doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhere close to it. And once that's done, we are going to copy this onto another layer by hitting Control J. And as you can see in the layer palette there, uh, it's on the top layer now, it's just my head. Uh, now I'm going to move my head over using the move tool, which is the V. And uh, now I'm going to resize my head with Control T. I know that's a lot of things that have popped up. Feel free to go back and check them out. And I'm just going to try to, you know, guesstimate what size would be good. I think that's kind of close. I'm just resizing it a little bit. Remember, Control T for free transform to resize. Now, to really match it up, to really, really match it up, what I'm going to do is lower the opacity on the layer palette. I'm going to pull it out here. I'm going to zoom in. And it's right up there. It says opacity. Now, watch my face. It's going to fade away a little bit and we'll be able to see through. Why do I want to do this? That way I can match up his face and my face. So to match it up, I find it using the eyes is the best. Oh, there we go. That's pretty close. Our nose is in about the same place. Mouth is in about the same place. This should look okay. I'm going to bring my opacity back up to 100%. And now it's time to start doing the magic, the photoshopping. I'm going to start by adding a layer mask. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Uh, and we want to add a layer mask right there. Once the layer mask is added, what we need to do is zoom back out here. Make sure you're on the layer mask. It's on the white one right next to the thumbnail. I'm going to take the paintbrush. I'm going to make sure that it's black. This is very important. And I'm going to start painting. Now you're going to see what's going to happen is that my background and some of my features are going to disappear and they're going to be replaced with what's underneath. Now, paint black to reveal. Okay? Uh, and so what I want to do here is zoom in and I'm going to speed up the film and take it away. Now, you want to make sure that you're zoomed in and getting good detail here. All right? Now, you know, <laughs> This actually took me a little longer than what it's playing, but um, as you can see, I am zooming in. I'm trying to, you know, get as much detail as I can. Um, now, if you make a mistake, not a big deal, as I want to make a mistake right, uh, right here. It's kind of creepy. Now, I want to cover that up. I paint white to cover it up. I hit the X button, I switch the colors, and I paint white. So here I go. I'm going to go back in there, and I'm just experimenting. I'm just experimenting. I'm going to see what works, what doesn't work. You know, the, each face is a little different from each other, so you just kind of have to play and see which one works. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Could be a little better. What I want to do is I want to free transform, and I want to make my face a little wider to help fill his head a little bit better. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.